Now, chances are that the Airbus A320 series will die one day, and it will be shot in the neck by this airplane, everybody. The Airbus A220. This right here is the Airbus A220-300. Super modern, amazing new aircraft that has only been flying for around 10 years, which in aircraft years is a literally newborn still. As you may know, it was originally developed by Bombardier. It was the C-Series, with Swiss International Airlines being the first to operate the plane, and Air Baltic being the second one to get the C-Series into their fleet. And this plane right from the start was amazing. It was lower noise level for passengers and more space for luggage than the, even the 737s. Airbus really did a good decision in 2018, where they basically bought the C-Series when Bombardier basically ran out of money. And so they sold the plane to Airbus, who rebranded the entire airplane to the Airbus A220. And once again, Airbus did a great job adopting this plane to the family, though it still carries the DNA of the Canadian Bombardier. I must say, it's very interesting to call this an Airbus, although it does not look at all like Airbus. Anyway, this plane has been flying now for a couple of years. And even though this airplane has some issues with... Uh, engines where some smoke could enter the cabin was well, apparently all due to the Pratt & Whitney 1500G engine that the airplane has. This airplane seems to be quite successful. 465 of these have already been built. And it's because it is the most modern clean slate airplane. And just hear the noise. There's something special about flying the Airbus A220. It is powerful. It is beautiful. The windows are huge, but yet we can't hear anything at all. No wonder this plane's allowed to fly off of London City. It can take off in a jib. And so everybody, it's about time to talk about possibly Airbus's next step, making this airplane, the A220, even bigger. See, so far in the current lineup, there's the A220, 100, and the 300. The 300 is quite a lot bigger. The A220, 100 is really, really small. It can only seat 135 people, whereas the 300 can carry 160 passengers. So the A220, 300 already does what the A319, the big kind of baby version of the A320 does already, but only a lot better with less fuel, more modern avionics for the pilots. There is a reason that the A319 Neo is so unpopular. In 2024, they only delivered nine of these, whereas the A220 was delivered 75 times. So already, already, Airbus is killing their other Airbus by having a new, more modern, better Airbus. It's time to stretch it and to compete. They're coming up with the Airbus A220-500. Quite a bit longer, and it can seat 175 packs. Nearly as much as the A320, but only better, only more fuel fish. It's a whole bit the better airplane, and they will kill themselves with it. But chances are the passengers might like it a lot better. And that's not a new thing from Bombardier, even when developing the C-Series originally. They already wanted to make a CS500, and that was really just a speculation of time, really, when they will actually build the 500. And this is what the plane could look like. And it doesn't look as weird as any of the other stretching things we've done on the channel. To symbolize the stretching, I've also stretched the logo of our Baltic. Now, this plane obviously now has a lot more seats. We just count the rows. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 35 rows times 5 seat per row. As you can see, we have a 3 by 2 seating arrangement. Not bad at all for comfort. And this plane indeed has 173 passengers that it can load in right now. And this is really interesting because this plane now really is like an A320. Let's go ahead and fly it. The good thing is that the Pratt & Whitney 1500G are quite powerful. Question really is, is it powerful enough? I've literally done nothing to this airplane. Haven't changed the wings, haven't changed the engine, nor the landing gear. And I wonder what the performance will be like now. Uh, it's not looking bad. I'm just scared if that was a tail strike. Okay, I think I might have put in a little bit of the 8 to 10 feet that the A to 2500 will be longer in the aft section of the plane, right? I've made the airplane too long in the back, and now we've made a tail striking machine, kind of like the A321. So there's some parallels to the, to, you know, the whole thing. Look at this, air bow, take us taken off and we can put the landing gear up and just see how this airplane looks it doesn't even look like ridiculous it doesn't fly that that i think we need to definitely make the horizontal stabilizer bigger they need to do a little bit of a wing upgrade there because i feel like this airplane really doesn't fly nicely now it does fly it's just that the controls are not necessarily very controlly you know what i mean now ladies and gentlemen welcome aboard air france you know what, this is actually, this is, uh, this is not on purpose. I just, this is my poor modeling of France. All right, what else we got? Delta, <laughs> Now, this is interesting. Qantas Isis. <laughs> okay. 
All right. All right. <laughs> okay, anyway, you may know Axe. Well, everybody. What are you waiting for? Why don't you do this? Why haven't you already done this? And the reason why is Quantatatas. Um, they're basically not really sure yet. They kind of want to keep the 8 to 20 program running until they know, okay, this makes a lot of money. And so it is worth it to actually make a competitor to our own product. You know, also, once again, they need to like really figure out the engine stuff. I mean, the A220 is kind of stole of an airliner, right? But the 500, probably not. We are quite, you know, a heavy airplane. We weigh already quite a few tons more than the A220-300. Also, we don't have as much range because the fuel tanks stayed the same. But does it really matter? No, because we've now transformed the A220 small regional jet to a proper Airbus, uh, wait, what are we? Can we take off? Is this possible? But yeah, we definitely need to work on that tail strike design. Okay, I've definitely messed this up. We're not able to take off from here, which is interesting. The A319 definitely should be able to do so. We haven't been able, we haven't done that very well. Hey, but we can maybe. Oh, oh, can you hear this? This is the whale sounds of the A220. I must say this add-on isn't necessarily good either. And honestly, this airplane is a bit of a challenge to fly. I feel the wings have gotten a little bit too small now. They would definitely need to change some things about this plane in order to make it a reality. But let's go ahead and land it now. We are quite fast. Let's see how the stopping works. Oh God, I've been able to put out reverse thrust mid-flight. And oh, 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 no, this airplane won't do crazy stunts, but it'll get you onto a runway and maybe you will make a stop as well. So there we go. We've touched down quite nicely. Let's go ahead and stop now. Please stop now. I'm using full reverse thrust, am I not? Come on, come on, come on, stop now. Uh, oh, yes, that's actually worked. Now, the problem is our brakes are completely gone by using them fully, everybody, but Qantas Isis has just landed nicely. Now, everybody, Airbus, Airbus. You know, the thing is, this airplane, oh no, can't operate out of London City anymore. But the thing is, the A220-300, the stretch version, cannot do that anyway. Who cares about stall? Airlines don't, really. They care about having a nice plane that doesn't use a lot of fuel, and that's exactly Exactly the thing on the A220. If I started a new airline, I would probably not get an A320 series airplane. I'd wait for the A220-500 or even buy the 300 for like smaller routes and stuff. I mean, it's crazy how even in the flight sim, it's reflected. It's so quiet on the inside. It's absolutely ridiculous. Either way, we are able to take off without doing a full on uh, tail strike. So that is wonderful. It's just that the climb performance isn't necessarily overwhelming. Let's put it that way. Yes. Now, maybe one day we'll fly on the Swiss... Airbus A220-500, and why are we stalling out, by the way? Oh my goodness, the climb performance really isn't the, isn't the best. Shut up. Sorry, buddy, this will be an interesting future. Maybe at the end of this decade, we can fly around in a brand new Airbus. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Durham, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.